Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you a concept called Atomic CSS. It's been around for a while, but hasn't been adopted by many people. Um, so what is Atomic CSS? Well, it's basically breaking CSS down to its basic components. So one class will be for one element, sorry, one property only. So in this example, MT in brackets 1EM is only for margin top 1EM. TA in brackets C is only for text align center, and so on and so forth. Now, as you can see here, the blue is highlighted in blue. And that's because I have a, an atom package called pigment that highlights colors in text and hexadecimal in, into the actual column. Um, see my video about atom packages for more info about it. But let's talk more about atomic CSS. So as you can see here, you can't actually write this in CSS with the brackets. You'd have to escape them. So this is how it actually looked like. So MT uh, forward slash, no, backslash, backslash, bracket, one EM, backslash, close the bracket. So this is basically escaping the CSS. Now, it doesn't work in versions of IE below eight. So as long as you're targeting modern browsers, escaping characters should be fine. So why do I escape characters? Why do you escape Photomic CSS? Well, basically Yahoo have a, an app called Atomizer. I don't know how to call it a package. Atomizer, which um, has great syntax for Atomic CSS already. So as you can see here, font size um, is FZ and the value. I'm not a fan of the capital F, but apart from that, I'm a fan of everything else. So margin top spell top correctly, will be MT bracket and whenever you want to put inside it. But for my version, I use a small m and not capital because I think CSS should be lowercase. But that's my opinion. So um, here's another reason why we use a syntax, because you can have complicated text in there. So here, background color, whatever this is, um, looks better in brackets than in dashes or whatever format. Same with display none colon hover. And as you can see here, I've, I've escaped the hashtag and the colon because they're not normal CSS characters. Um, so back to this example, the display none colon H for hover um, works better and looks a lot cooler, frankly, um, than having D dash N dash H. Uh, so let's see it in action. Here's a simple example. Um, as you can see here, I have linked both the style sheets, three dash and two dash. Do not do this in production. I've only done it for my purpose only, so I can go through the order of the um, pages that I've done. But this shouldn't be done at all. So let's see if this actually works. Um, this is the page on its own, without any styling. This is a test. So let's have a look at what we've done. We have C blue for color blue, FZ2 for font size 2EM. So let's make it bigger. Class, FZ, and conveniently we have brackets close for us. EM. And C blue. Refresh the page, and that's worked. As simple as that. Um, so now let's try these two classes. So displaying on hover and back on color, whatever that color is. Say a light blue, baby blue. So DN, colon H for displaying on hover. See how that works. Get this funky flashing effect, which no one ever wants, but just a test. And then let's have the whole background color change. So class equals BGC, and I can't remember what that is, so I'm going to copy and paste it. Okay. And that worked. So it's as simple as that. And the whole point of having atomic classes, it's so it's easy to change a class if you want it to be changed. So if, for example, I had a list of classes that I um, use for development, just for prototyping purposes, I could change this to green if I hated blue, and it should work. Sorry, spell green properly. And if I had that in here, it would completely change. So let's do it now. 
Let's copy and paste this. Have that be green. Save this. And that works. Horrible, but it works. So this is perfect for prototyping code, um, seeing what things will look like in the browser. And um, I even use it for, for production, for projects I've been working on, I've used Atomic CSS for production. Um, not every single class I've used has been Atomic, but the ones that are reused over and over again. Um, so if I were to do this again, have another test, instead of going back to the CSS and having another class and having another, um, another set of properties, I can just do that, get rid of this, and it will be fairly different. So it's really quick and easy to change. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more.